Hey champions, this is Chris Gloss from Step Outside Your Comfort Zone. Got a question for you. What's your response to no? When people tell you no, what's going on inside of your mind? Because the next step you take after you hear that no will determine your success or your failure. Your response to no, your response to rejection will determine if your next step is going to lead you to success or lead you to failure. Rejection is direction. Think about it for a moment. Have you ever been in a relationship? <laughs> and this is going to be interesting. Have you ever been in a relationship? The relationship ended. You were heartbroken. You were devastated. You went into depression. You ate tons of ice cream, pickles and chips and all this other kind of stuff. You put on weight because that relationship ended. It would hurt you to your core. But then a month later, a year later, you see that person and you say to yourself, thank God that did not work out. <laughs> I'm telling you that, hey, in life, sometimes you cannot judge things in that moment. You have to give it time. You looked at that person and you said, man, if not for the grace of God, there goes I. I would have been connected with that joker right there. Have you ever did that before? Or not did it, but has it ever happened to you before? Absolutely. Rejection is sometimes direction. It doesn't feel good in the moment. It doesn't feel good to be told no. Have you ever applied for a job or a position and you didn't get that position? And then after some time, you saw the person in that position or the person that has that job frustrated, bored, or just going out of their mind because of all the additional responsibilities? Rejection is direction at times. You think about this, if you have a side hustle and if you were to take that position, if you would have took that job or if you would have took that promotion, it could have ended everything you're doing on the side because you can't get back your time. Sometimes that promotion is not what you need, especially if you have a side hustle and you're working on some things as an entrepreneur and you're building and you're developing. Sometimes that side hustle, the amount of time that you have to put into that job, into that promotion, into that position is going to take time away from you being able to do what you need to do to make it on your own. If you got to bet on anybody, sometimes you just got to bet on yourself. Sometimes rejection is just simply direction. Rejection is telling you, hey, this is not for you. This is not for you. But how you internalize that no will determine if your next step will lead you towards success or if it will lead you towards failure. Rejection is direction. Let me share a hard saying with you. I was watching Gary Vee's video earlier this week. Gary Vee was talking to a couple and he made, he made a statement that was just so powerful. He said, the market is always right. Put this in your notes. I'm gonna help some of you that are out here on social media, trying to grow your YouTube, tra YouTube channel, trying to grow your Instagram, trying to grow your TikTok, trying to grow your Facebook. This is a very hard saying. I need you to receive this in love though. I need you to receive it in love because it hit me hard, it hit me hard. He said, the market is always right. So if you're not getting those subs, if you're not getting those likes, you're not getting those comments, it's because the market is rejecting you. Simply put, you need to find your tribe. You gotta back up to step one. Find your tribe, find your audience, and get laser focused on their wants, needs, and interests. Their wants, needs, and interests. Or if you say wants, interests, and needs, you can have the acronym WIN. WIN, wants, interests, and needs. And if you focus on that, that market will respond to you better. But when you're trying just to do everybody, I want the whole world on my YouTube channel. I want the whole world on the gram. When you go out with that mindset and you're not getting the results you're looking for, the market is always right. They're not interested. They're not interested. You got to find your audience. Where is your audience? Where do they congregate? Where do they hang out on these platforms? What are they doing? What are they interested in? Because they will respond. For me, it hit hard because, hey, that's why I stayed under 100 subs for so long. 
because I didn't find my audience. Now I am in a process of fine tuning everything I do to just be laser focused on the audience that I want to serve. That audience, that population, that's where my thinking begins and ends working with them. Rejection is direction. So something Zig Ziglar said, a lot of times people say no to you, but it's not N-O, it's simply K-N-O-W because they don't know who you are. They don't know the value that you're gonna bring and deliver. They don't know that you can solve their problem. So sometimes when a person says no, it's not rejection, it's direction. It's saying take another course to get to me because I wanna support you, I just don't know what you have to offer. Sometimes N-O is not N-O. Sometimes N-O is not rejection. It's simply direction. It's saying I need you to take another route so that I could come on board with you. Scripture reminds me of, which is my favorite book, it says write the vision and make it plain so he that reads it can run with it. Right, so you gotta make your vision plain. How are you gonna help me? How are you gonna serve me? Who am I even in your audience? If you do that, You'll be able to help with that knowing part, the K-N-O-W, so that they can go ahead and support, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Rejection is direction. So we want to begin this process of making no our vitamin. Just like if you take a vitamin every day, begin to make no your vitamin. Why, Chris? Because it's leading you somewhere. When something's not working and you're not getting the result that you really want, no is telling you you need to take another route. Pay attention to this part here. You don't have to change the goal. Simply change the strategy to get to the goal. That's tweetable. <laughs> you don't have to change the goal. Just change the strategy you take to get to the goal because the market is letting you know, hey, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not it. And then you make those adjustments along the way get some good coaching from some people, join some amazing groups, find a mentor, and they can help shorten the distance to get to where you really wanna be. Trust me on that, it will work, it will work. Hey, this has been Champion Chris Gloss. Do me a huge favor, subscribe below. If you're not watching on YouTube, come on over to YouTube. Come on over to YouTube. Subscribe below. Let's stay connected. Let's stay connected, champions. And I look forward to seeing you over in the next video. Matter of fact, when this video ends, go ahead and watch that video that's about to show up at the end. Talk to you soon.